Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome to my rare plant wish list. Now then, I wasn't necessarily going to make this wish list. I've had a lot of trouble making this wish list. Like it's taken me a long time because honestly, I don't know if you guys saw last year, but I made some wish lists. I made a wish list in January and then I made another one in like, I don't know, actually maybe July, August sometime. And then some things happened. I kind of crossed a lot of things off my wish list that I thought I would never cross off. With that in mind, this wish list was actually very, very difficult to come up with stuff. Not only that, but I think because I have the shop and I actually look after a lot of different plants on a daily basis, it's not deterred me from buying these plants, but I just don't necessarily feel you know, the need to buy these plants because I'm taking care of them every day anyway. So I still get the enjoyment out of them, but I don't necessarily have to have them in the house. So there's a lot of plants that I probably would like, but now don't want, but I do like them, but I just don't want them. So it's not the biggest list in the world. I think there's only about 10 plants on it, but hey, you know, it's probably going to get bigger over the course of the year. One other thing before we start. Yes, this is my Christmas tree. I'm not sure of the date that you're seeing this video, but it is New Year's Day on this, you know, day of recording. So I want to show you all my tree because as you know, I've been absent and I don't know if anybody saw my tree. And I only put this tree up on, let me think about this, something like the 21st of December. So. Get a good look at my tree. Now these plants are in no particular order. Usually I group them into like say Monstera and then Philodendron. I haven't done any of that. I've just, I've just kind of jumbled them up because why not? The first plant on my rare plant wish list is a plant I'm not entirely sure of the name of it. I don't know if it's been fully described yet. I am not sure. But I will say this, I saw this plant on House of Monstera's Instagram a while ago at some point last year, and I have no idea what it was, but I fell in love with it. And even in its juvenile stages, this plant looks incredible. So what I think I'm after is either a Monstera Deliciosa Varsariana or Monstera Dilacerata. And I think I featured Dilacerata in a rare plant index, well, the Monstera rare plant index ages ago. Um, I will include some of the pictures that I saw throughout the year that made me fall in love with this plant, but I have to have it. I think it looks fantastic. I really, really do. It looks unique to a lot of Monstera I've seen, and at this point I've seen quite a lot, let me tell you. Like literally I saw this on Instagram and I was like, oh, was ist das? So when I find out what it is, I will get it. I will get it. So the next plant on my rare plant wish list, I'm not like, I'm not 100% that I want, but I'm leaning very strongly towards. You guys know this, I can kind of want something and then I kind of change my mind and you know, that kind of thing. But I'm thinking about the Epipremnum Skeleton Key. Now I realize this is, I mean, it's weird as heck, really. It gets its name, I can only presume because the leaves look a lot like keys and it kind of reminds me of an Alocasia stingray that just kind of got melted or chewed up and spat out. <laughs> I guess that's kind of like an argument for and against it so mm, I don't know I feel like I only ever see pictures of this plant usually with just like someone showing off the one leaf I really really want to see what it would be like to have like a fully established like bush so I think I want to give this one a try not crazy about it don't get me wrong I'm not crazy about it I kind of I kind of go on and off it but at the minute I'm definitely thinking about getting one next up on my rare plant wish list is a plant that I originally wanted the original version of it but now I know that there is kind of another Another version of it I really really want that one because as you guys know I don't have a lot of space in my flat where I'm currently living if I want to plant I usually get like I don't know how else to really describe it other than I just get like the upgraded version of the plant so the plant I'm actually looking for is a variegated raphidophora tetrasperma as I say I've wanted a regular tetrasperma for some time because I think I just I just love the leaf shapes but I'm quite happy like I'm in no particular rush I'm quite happy to just weigh it out and then just get a variegated one I do realize it's going to take a little bit of a hunt I know there's some Facebook auctions that might you know pop up uh, with this plant on it I don't really know but I know they exist I know that I would quite like one, so I will be kind of on the hunt for that this year. This next plant on my wish list, I've actually had, I think I've had a few people ask me to stock this in the shop, and I was kind of like, yes, I know, I'm, they're awesome. I'm looking for one for myself as well. So I haven't found it yet, but the next plant on my red plant wish list is none other than the Philodendron Linamii. I'm pretty sure that's how you kind of go about saying it. It is a big heart shape and I know I, I have a problem. I do, I have a problem with heart shaped philodendrons in that, that I usually have to collect all of them. So 
it's it's not great but this one is cool when the new leaves come out in the similar way to florida ghost leaves coming out kind of white colored these leaves come out bright red like bright red so i really 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 want to give one of these a go i think it's one of these plants where if you watch it grow over time you'll get like 10 times more enjoyment out of it just because this red color is temporary and it will fade in the similar way that obviously a florida ghost leaf would fade and i am quite keen on watching it grow i think it could be really 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 pretty right so <laughs> so this next plant as i say this is in no order this next plant is like like i feel like every time i do a wish list i always put like some sort of unicorn on the list this is kind of that situation only it's not a unicorn that everybody thinks i'm probably going to tell you about i don't think it's a well-known unicorn i realize i'm being very cryptic here basically okay basically so Last year, I'm pretty sure I might have to check, but on my rare plant wish list, like the first one I did in January, I said, you know, I really, really want a staghorn fern, but I do want to wait until I get my own house because at the moment I rent. I want to wait, I want to mount it on the wall, I want it to just look amazing. However, during my searches on the internet, I happened to find that technically it is possible, and I realize this is possible with every plant, but technically you can get you can get a variegated staghorn. Now, they, they aren't cheap from what I've seen, but you can get it and I want it. And I still want to get it and, you know, mount it on my wall in my house. But obviously, and I know I've said this and I'm laughing because I've said it so many times and it's just, it hasn't gone that way. But I really, I'm not expecting to find this. I'm pretty sure I've only seen one on the internet, okay? That's a variegated staghorn, one on the whole internet. I might be very wrong because I'm using a picture that I found a long time ago, like halfway through last year. So I could be very wrong about this. Ooh, it looks so good. So yeah, it's variegated staghorn fern. I do still want a green one as well, but the fact that there is variegated, I mean. So the next plant on my wish list isn't a specific plant, okay? And it's not even a type of plant that I, I actually own at all. It's just not. But the more I think about it, the more I'm really, really fancying an indoor palm tree, okay? But there are so many different palm trees you can get indoors. I, all I know is I'm pretty sure that I want a variegated indoor palm or a palm that is variegated that you can keep indoors. Now, I know that is a tall order. Don't get me wrong. I fully, fully appreciate that is a tall order, but I really, really want one. I think I'd like a palm anyway for indoors. It's not that I wouldn't have a regular palm. It's just a variegated one would be, I'm sure we can all agree, very, very special. So I've been looking into what I think, I don't know how you pronounce this, Liquala? Liquala? Some sort of variegated indoor palm. I have seen, I'm looking at a picture now of the Liquala Mapu, whatever it is. It looks okay, maybe. It's, I don't know if it's quite what I'm feeling. I'm sure I've seen some variegated Liquualas or Liquualas or, I, how do you even pronounce that? But I've seen some of those and I'm really, I'm, I'm looking and I'm liking. But also imagine if you could get like a variegated Kentia palm or something like that. I don't know. I'm just, I don't know why I'm feeling variegated palms. And I don't know how I've got to this place in life because I love Arrowheads, I love Monstera and I love everything else. But I just really fancy one. The next plant on my wish list, I'm pretty sure I fell in love with it because of its ears. Yes, really, yes. This is the Philodendron lupinum, I believe that's how you say it. Now it looks to me like the leaves come through kind of burgundy in the way that a lot of anthurium leaves come through kind of burgundy. Is it burgundy? Like a goldy bronze color. That would be the better way to describe it, a bronze color. The leaves come through like that and they just have the best shape ever. Not only that, but there's some really nice veining and dimension on it as well. I'm looking at a picture now. It looks pretty nice. I think this year I seem to either be picking out, you know, I want a variegated version of something or I just want something with a cool leaf shape because when I look down this list, that's that's basically <laughs> what's in the list. Next one on this list happens to be an alocasia. And I don't know if you guys remember this, but I was very, very, very into my alocasia at one point. It's not that I'm not now, it's just I don't necessarily have the light requirements for alocasia. It's just, it's not ideal in here. So I've kind of give up on owning them until I go to a place where I can kind of have them. Uh, which is a real shame but nonetheless i've stuck this alocasia on the list because it's unique and i don't see them around and i want to see one i think in person before i get one um just to see if it checks out but this is the alocasia aslanii and i've seen pictures of it where it looks purple i've seen pictures of it where it looks pink and I've seen pictures of it where it looks pretty green. And I don't know if this is gonna be a catfish situation. So I, I I don't really know what color it is. Obviously there's some pinky color in there, but I don't know to what extent it kind of shows up. I really need to see this one in person. So 
If I do, I'll let you know what it's actually like. But unless you guys know what it's actually like and any of you own one, you can tell me kind of how pink it is. I just don't know if it's a catfish situation or not, to be honest. I do have fear of the catfish since the whole begonia situation that we had last year. Again, next one on my list is like, is this, is which way around is this? Okay, I'll explain what I mean. The next plant on my list is Monstera subpinata, but I'm looking at an image now and it's, it's, it's palm tree vibes. Okay, is it that I like the palms because I like these types of monsteras? Or do I like these types of monsteras because I'm looking for a palm? Like, which one is it? I don't know, because I really want a palm. But I love monstera. The struggle. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Again, if I got the palm, maybe I wouldn't get the monstera. If I got the monstera, maybe I wouldn't get the palm. Hmm. Okay, moving swiftly on, and I'm going to introduce my first piper into the list. And every time I see this piper, it's just, it's one sexy piper. Like, pipers don't get a lot of press generally, but here is one that I think should get press and one that I think is very, very sexy. It's got texture, it's got darkness, it's got sex appeal. You know what I'm saying? It just, it just has. This is the Piper Palmatum or Piper Palmatum. I'm not entirely sure once again how you say it. I can't pronounce anything, but it looks like a Copria. It does look like a Copria and I don't love Copria. Maybe it's just the texture that's making me think like, ooh, it's like Copria, but then add some. Again, I might say this in person, it might just look a bit underwhelming, but I do kind of like corrugated plants. Can you tell I'm very apprehensive about this wish list? I'm very unsure about this wish list. I'm still kind of working it out, if I'm honest. So if I, if I go like another couple of months and I'm like, okay, and now I know what I want, I'll probably redo this video. Last on my list, and this, this might surprise you all like a lot. I have a plant on my list and you're just gonna go, oh, what, really? <laughs> I have a plant on my list that I used to own and I got rid of it before before I moved here. I've been thinking about it a lot, you know, we broke up, but I, I'm feeling like I really kind of want it back. I want it back and I might get it back because it would look really good in here. Oh, I think there's a naked person over there. I kind of want this plant back and I think it might look good here where the biob is. If you don't know, by the way, this is where the biob normally would be. This is where my tree now is. I just feel like it might look really nice. But this, brace yourselves, brace yourselves for what I'm about to tell you. The, the last plant, is it the last plant? It is the last plant on my list. And that is the Calathea orbifolia. Now, wait a minute. I know what you're thinking. Kaylee. It's a Calathea. Kaylee. That's not even rare. I know, I know, I know. And I'm stressing out about whether to take the plunge because I know it's not necessarily the easiest Calathea to look after. I think when I had this, I'm pretty sure it was my most difficult Calathea by far. Not that I had necessarily super difficult Calatheas, but I'm just kind of worried because, you know, I am I go to and from the flat all the time. I'm not necessarily going to hit warring when I need to. Am I just going to get it into a crispy mess? I don't really know. But let me know in the comments if you think I should get a Calathea or portfolio back because I'm so, so, so tempted. I will probably do a raid on Ikea, maybe some point in the springtime and pick one up because I know I think I got my my old big Calathea from there. And it was like, it was like nine British pounds. So what's that, like $12 or something? Something for like a huge like 60 centimeters tall Calathea so I'm probably gonna wait for that so I don't think it's gonna pop up anytime soon but it is definitely something I'm thinking about. Eee! Let me know in the comments if you think I should take the plunge and get one back. I do think now I've got plenty places to put one I don't think that's the issue I think the issue for me is probably just a watering situation so we'll see we'll see. Anyway, that is actually it for my rare plant wish list. As I've said, it's not as long as maybe what it would be because last year I got so many plants that I just never expected to pick up, like at all ever. So <laughs> they probably would have made it back onto the wish list, but now they don't need to be there because I own them. So it's been a bit difficult to actually, you know, search for what I want. Also, I'm so firmly nested in aroids. I've, I've kind of forgotten what else there even is, so. If you think of any plants that, you know, you think I might like, uh, please do comment them below. Similarly, let me know what's on your wish list because I'm always very curious to see. Not only that, but I can probably steal some of your plants on your wish list. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. If you'd like to see any more of my content that probably will never have this tree in it ever again, then please feel to hit that subscribe button. I do a ton of videos from care videos to rare plant indexes to repot with me's to, I don't even know at this point, dish the dirt, everything. So if you're interested 
in any of that, then please hit that subscribe button. And also feel free to follow me on Instagram. I do post, honestly, I do. It's been a bit of a lull since I've been very unwell, but I do post content on there. I post a lot of stories on there, so that's a good way to keep more up to date with what I'm up to or what's going on. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for next week's video. I'm pretty sure if I've got this right, it's going to be a vlog of me in Holland and it's going to be very fun because I think I've gone for 10 days. I'm pretty sure I'm there right now vlogging. So wish me luck on that. Wish me luck through my mammoth editing session and I shall see you next week, guys. Bye.